Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of JK. trouble. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man, but as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVayne. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Lover! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Massive knee to the body land. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, single collar tie here. Got clip with the right hand. Boy, tie plump. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. 
Oh, nice jab. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Nice combination. Try to establish that jab. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Got the single collar tie. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Strong defense there to block the shot. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. What a punch. Nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good stick. Over and over, he landed the big body. Kick. And he landed the right hand there. Goes to the body there. Whip his hip into that kick. He's able to slip the left there. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Beautiful knee. Just a slip there. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Gets the elbow up into the target. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Ooh. Oh, straight right. Just misses there with the left. An uppercut landed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Slips the shot. He's throwing every part of himself. Into the big leg kick. That landed. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Superman punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. There's that inside leg kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly makes up the target. Sight to behold. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Real nice body to play. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice. Nice. now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at the flip action that comes from just throwing that kick. Big That's punch. a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice loop and punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Wow. Another clinch position. Just missed with the left there. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. It's such a fast leg kick. Straight punch lands. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Battle for position here. Right punches there. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Missed with that attempt. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, big punch land. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! It's over! It's over! What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glove. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You're going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.